Federal Railroad Administration recently updated the train versus motor vehicle accident report from 2015, and the numbers point to Butler County as the deadliest county in Ohio. Now, on your sides, Tony Moronis breaks down the results and talks with drivers about their habits that may be to blame for the uptick in crashes. If there's no train, even if it's blinking red, I still go through it. And sometimes when they block the track, even though the rails are down or the little guard thing is down, I'll go through it anyway. Greer Barton of Pleasant Ridge understands its attitudes like hers that could lead to devastating results. My friend called me. At railroad crossings, trains always win and sometimes life lost. The driver had gone through the down gate. That's what happened last year when the driver of this church van carrying children for vacation Bible school, 10 kids were hurt and an adult passenger died. All the damage that you see to the van was from the van's own speed striking into the side of the train. Last month, I just kept sliding. Nothing I did would stop at the car and I survived. I mean, it's amazing. 96% of all the deaths in the railroad industry are caused by grade crossing accidents and trespassing. That's a public service announcement created by Operation Lifesaver. They're trying to stop these accidents. I looked at my left leg, it was pretty much gone. The drivers I talked with know the dangers, but choose different paths when the signal sounds. I rolled the dice, because I can see the train. Yeah, you stop, especially when the arms are down. From the latest statistics, the last death in the tri-state was from the church van in Butler County. Coincidentally, that's the deadliest county for cars versus train accident deaths in the state of Ohio and in the tri-state. The federal stats also show that those who get injured the most are people who are impaired with drugs or alcohol. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side.